Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim Wassalamualaikum Giving thanks to Almighty Allah and His salutations and benediction being asked for our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu His household, the entire companions, and whoever follows their step to the day of resurrection. The next is to enter into our video discussion of this occasion. But before that, I would like also to thank the organizer of this program, of this lecture, that is al Abibia Zakat and Waku Foundation, that is the Women Wings. Uh, why I want to thank them for this is because of the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one of the verses of Holy Quran. Here it says, الذين يستمعون القول ويتبعون أحسنا. Adam was praising certain people, certain believers in the Holy Quran, that they are the ones used to listening to Al Quran. Al Quran here is Al Quran message. And they will follow the good of the statements. So the lecture delivered in the first day when I was invited to this place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destiny and make it that is beneficious. And part of the, the benefits of the lecture that made them call for this one, which is very good. I pray to Almighty Allah SWT to continue making us among those who the Quran will be a beneficial to us and see the rewards of the day of judgment. Then the topic, as Adia Rafat has said, how to calculate the Zakat in Islam. But before that, there is something we need to know, which is generally in all the legislation of Sharia. That is, everything Islam nailed down for we Muslim to do. Ibadat or Muhammad or preach. Because the branches of religion in Islam are of three. So, we have the branches that is of great belief. Certain things in Islam is belief. There is no action. There is no statement. Just believe it. Allah is exists. Angels are exists. And Jannah, the paradise, 
the Empire. It's a list. All these ones are creeds, belief, which Muslims must believe it. And that is how we go. We have another practice in Islam that is the Ibadat. So that's another aspect has to do with Ibadat, worship. Then the, the third part are Mu'amalat. These are the branches of religion. Mu'amalat means the relationship, how to relate with one another. So all these branches of religion has wisdom, reason behind legislation. Belief in angels as wisdom. Not just Allah created the angels and absolute to believe without any wisdom behind it. So, the same thing by that and Muhammad. So, these are cards. What are the wisdom behind it? Because sometimes, as we also, if me and you are employed in an organization, in the company, or government parastata, that employment, if there's, there's no certain benefits there, will you go? Me and you will not go. So, if we know the benefits behind the legislation of zakat, then those who have been paying their zakat will continue paying. As Adi Arafa said, that that first lecture, the, when he returned home, she returned home, he started bringing some goods that, oh, Allah, I don't need it anymore, let me give people that need it. So this is how it is, and that is it. The way what he said is the same thing the Sahaba they used to do during the time of the prophets. So Allah is in them. So we should emulate them. That is what she is trying to do. So whenever the Prophet told them, tell them that this is come and spend your money. The needs for it as well. The Sahaba, they do. Because the inner after is the major goal of being Muslim. And this is the time for us to buy our inner after, to build it. So, the benefits of Zakat, we need to know. The Makosi of Sharia, the objective of Sharia, wisdom behind legislation of the past. So if we know this, we that we have been giving our own Zakat will continue to do. Even we may still add Sadaqa. Because by the time we do that, this is an amount Allah said we should just remove from all this money, uh, I still have more. Let me still give that part. And so that all. And those who have not been paying as a tax, when they hear the wisdom and the benefits from paying the car, maybe it may cheer them up that they need to let me pay my own zakat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Holy Quran, said in one of the surah, the chapter that is in the Noah surah, that wa adina hu nadi, wa adina hu nadi, falatama al-aqba. Wama adiroka mal akoba fakura oba 
أو إتحام بيوم ذي مصجبة يتيما ذا مقربة أو مسكينا ذا مقربة This is where I want to use as a shahid, as a point. So to Alibanat, la usimu bi adha libanat, wa anta hillum bi adha libanat. That is where you get. Where I want to use, Allah said, wa adayna huna jideen, we show to human being, human being, la jideen, two ways. The first one is the bad and the evil way. Then Allah now gives an instruction of where to fall. Falakta amali akoba will he try, try to heal to the high road. Woman at the rock, a man up over, wants to tell you the hill highway. Far over, over. The hill highway, that is the right way to get to the high level. Far over, over, is that to free his slave. How is he being now? or to feed someone on the day of severe hunger, which Allah revealed to So the battle of you are on the way, I will. Or you feed someone who is a high secure hunger is part of the highway. How is the king the matter of then the seen the needy that doesn't have house is no house is dust. Those who will sleep whatever the night come to. Let us say Alhamdulillah. We are still in our house. But amongst the slave of Allah, see, and they will leave this world, their home house is the dust. That is Allah created them. And these are the people that need their hearts. So it's part of the wisdom. So, it means if you continue giving those people the zakat, then you will remove them, you can remove them to become somebody that will have house. Because we have, during the time of the Prophet, so far, so that, that's among the Sahaba who they call Al Sufa in the history of Islam. And yeah, there are some Muslims they call Al Sufa. There are about 75. Ahad Sufa. This Ahad Sufa, when they came, they are the poor among the Sahaba, the companion of the Prophet. They don't have a house. They used to sleep inside the mosque of the Prophet. In fact, their house, based on the history, we that you have gone to Umaran and Hajj. There is one place in the mosque of the province called Rodo. That Rodo is close to the member of the province. That member. That is Rodo. The mat, the rock of that place, used to be different from all the rock in the mosque. We that now, Anja is making shaking head. They have gone to hide and no more. So, that Rodo is close. There is one place very high like this. At that road, very high. That is in the house of those early so far. Those who don't have house. Those in the time of the province. They were poor. 
they are poor among the Sahaba. They don't have house. And but one of the Sahaba, do you believe that one of the most reported of the Adis of the Prophet among the Sahaba? We know him. Abu Hurairah is among them. Is among Al Sufa. At the beginning, they don't have house because some of them they came from their own. Abu Hurairah is from Yemen. One of the village, his village is house at Dawsi. Is the a tribe from Yemen? He came to Medina to embrace Islam and be there. But when he came, no house. He was sleeping in the house of the Prophet for what? But at the end of his life, he became a rich man among the Sahara. What brought him up to that poverty? In his institution of Zakat and all these things. So I congratulate Abu Abidia for this effort you have demonstrated. So part of this is to remove a certain group of poor people among the Muslims to remove them out of poverty. Is that that? It's part of it. Part of it, the blessing and the benefit of the that is to seek the pleasure of Allah. When you give up your zakat, then it means you need the real, real Allah, the pleasure of Allah, which is the Sahaba, they gain during their own life. When we read one, you will sing a higher verse, we say, Radi Allah, Adiyahum, Waradu, and it is Sahaba. Allah says, Radi Allah, Adiyahum. That is why anytime we mention any Sahaba, we say, Why? They work for it. And what they did is part of this Zakat. They began to the real of Allah, the pleasure of Allah, because of giving out their Zakat. If we also doing so, there's nothing prevent us to get the real of Allah. The pleasure of Allah. There's nothing. Prevent us. So if you are giving your zakat, certainly you are inviting the pleasure of Allah for yourself. And if you say, Me, I don't want to pay my zakat, then you don't need what? The pleasure of wisdom. You don't need the will of Allah. That is the meaning. Part of the, the benefits, the wisdom of Giving the zakat is to provide oneself of the the what the sickness of the mind, which is greediness. So if you give out your zakat, then it means you are not among those who have the sickness of greediness. You are preferring your mind. Another thing. Benefits of giving out the cards is also uh, in increasing the wealth. Help uh, in increasing the wealth. If you give, then it will be increasing. Physically, it will be that you remove, but that remover, in reality, it will cause the baraka and baraka. But the one that is not giving, keeping it, then what will happen to it? It will be destroyed. It's part of the benefits. So let me put it here. Now move to the next, the next topic or the next agenda. What are the items? Zakati items. The wealth with the cars due on it. But some people we think that is every wealth, every property we have, we should remove the cars from its room. We have certain property that the cars are not on it. One. This is a table worth. Number one, 
four kinds of animals. They are camel, cow, sheep, and goats. This is the first category. The second category, agricultural produce. Under this, there are grains and fruits. Agricultural produce, grains and fruits. So the grains that is common, rice, wheat, beans, then the fruits, dates and grapes. Then we know dates, grapes is inner, we call it inner. So the, the lights of dates and inners. So these are the agricultural produce that the cats are only. Four, uh, number three, gold, slaver, and paper notes. Gold, slaver, and paper notes. Then the last one. Merchandise or goods for sale or rent. Lease. This is because wealth, property that we can, that as a category, that is the property that we put for sales or for rent. Now, coming to the result, or let me say the condition, condition for validity of giving that that. So you don't know the condition. How do you know that you are eligible to pay for that? But you need to know the condition. And most of Ibadah in Islam, we used to have two conditions, stated by scholar. We have shall to do and shall to say how. Shall to do is that condition for obligation. Before something can be obligated on you, that's condition for that. Then we now have condition for seha. That is validity. Because you may do something in Ibadah, but it's not valid. May Allah save us or from some scholar of nowadays, Shaitanic scholar, who will bring some fatwa that can destroy the established facts in the religion. What may make me say that we have in the social media now some scholars calling for that. The woman that is doing menstruation can pass. Nothing. No any ayah in the Holy Quran that says so. Maybe I've not heard that. And what is their problem? They say in the Hadith, in the statement of the Quran. Then in the, in the problem that bring the Quran for us, we are not the one. So that is why that some Ibadah, if one did not fulfill the condition, if you do it, no. Example, it's not valid. Because you really meet the condition. So the same thing is like that. There's condition you need to meet. If you give it out, then it will be valid. But if you need it, if you don't need that condition, it's not bad. So there is difference between sharp to wuju, that is condition for obligatory, that is obligatory for you. So these are the conditions of zakat, one, and Islam. So this one is of obligatory. Zakat is not obligatory on Kafir. That's the best condition. This one has to do with obligation. 
Then the second condition, the, the wife must reach the soul. What we call the soul is the minimum amount the money must reach. That is the soul. The minimum amount the money must reach before you can give that ask. That is what we call the soul. We'll be hearing the soul, the soul, the soul. The soul is the minimum amount your money must reach. Then the act will now do on it. That is the conclusion. Third, free from debt. Free from debt. Fourth, intention by the giver. Intention by the giver. The giver of zakat must have the intention of giving zakat out. If there is no intention, then there is no, there will be no much, will not be valid. It's just like zakat and there is solat and other ibadah. There must be intention of doing it. If there is no intention from the one, that want to give zakat out, then no rewards. Just like somebody that zakat is doing on his money and his wealth, but he's not 